Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, we had so much fun with our reading yesterday, Spirits with Spirits, that I've decided to do it again today. And don't worry, it's not going to become a regular feature unless you want it to. Um, it's a lot of fun, but I don't know if I want it to. <laughs> so what I do is I I poured myself a favorite cocktail and then we called in the spirits. That's why I call it Spirits with Spirits. And today's cocktail is what I call a Blue Monday. And this is Monday when I'm recording this. This might already be Tuesday where you are. But look at that beautiful blue color. And what makes that beautiful blue color is this creme de violette. Creme de violette. Look how dark blue that is. A small batch handcrafted sip frequently. Well, who can argue with that? Uh, it's very sweet. It's 60 proof, so you don't want it that often. Um, now, this is made in Colorado, but it is actually a French liqueur, uh, creme de violette. And it doesn't say exactly what it what it is. It just says botanicals. Um, so I don't know if there's actually violets in it. I just find it's funny. It's called violette, and I associate purple with the color violet, but... This is definitely a very royal blue. Um, I top it up with a splash of vodka and just to cut the sweetness a little bit. And then uh, I fill the glass up with seltzer or club soda. And of course, a couple of ice cubes. It's absolutely cheers, delicious. Definitely more a ladies drink with the sweetness in it. And you do actually get the uh, it actually feels like you're tasting flowers, violets. It's really, really yummy. If you happen to find it, or it try it. Again, it's 60 proof, so it is sipping <laughs> once in a while. So anyways, let's get started with today's reading. And I picked Royal Blue. Well, number one, it's call, I call it a Blue Monday. Um, uh, and it's Royal Blue. So let's. I'm going to do Spirits with Spirits. The royal family, the British royal family. So I've got to light my incense here because I want to protect myself. I've come in with full intentions that my joy angels are around me, surrounding me. And if uh, if you've ever had the giggles at an inappropriate moment or all of a sudden have the giggles over something that really shouldn't be that funny... That's your joy angels. They're with you. So whenever you do have that moment that you're all of a sudden you're laughing and it's not apparent why you should be laughing. Uh, thank your joy angels. Uh, they love being they love being around. Again, I'm going to do two. This is the Rosicrucian uh, incense. And I apologize. I said I was going to put it in the description. And I completely forgot. I did add it in and I did reply to some of you. Uh, for the direct link to order it right from France. Uh, you'll see it on Etsy and on Amazon. Honestly, it's way cheaper to order it direct from the source. It's almost triple the price on Etsy and Amazon. Uh, for example, I think the um, 24 box is 9 euros if you buy it from source and 24 if you buy it from Etsy for 12. So yeah, order and then order it from... Uh, direct from the source. So this is the Rosicrucian Four Roses Incense. Absolutely divine. Absolutely divine. So we're just going to ask for some protection. And some people have asked me not to ring the bell. It, it really, um, especially if they're listening with ear pods. Um, but I have to, to call, I'm just going to muffle it. I'm calling in spirits with spirits about the British royal family. We want to know the truth. What's coming up? What's coming up? What's coming up? All right. I think we've got it. Okay. Of course, I'm using the golden tarot as I do with all my British royal family readings. And, and right on cue... You know, as soon as I bring in uh, the, my joy angels and my protection, uh, along comes my puppy dog. <laughs> it's like she just wants to feel the energies. Okay, the British royal family. The 
Come on, spirits. Come on, spirits. Spirits with spirits. What's going on with the British royal family? Can you give us some... You know what? She's distracting me. I'll be right back. Sorry. I know I don't say I, say I don't edit, but I'm I, when I turn it back on, it'll be all exactly the same. But I've got to settle her. She's distracting me about that. I'd like to think she was scaring away um, energies that shouldn't be with us <laughs> when she just barks at nothing like that. All right. So let's get back to it. So we're going to ask the spirits, spirits with spirits. Spirit, please tell us what's going on with the royal family. What can we expect in the near future? Uh, what can we expect in the next year? Give us some secrets, things that we need to know. Um, even without Harry and Meghan, like what is the intrigue there with the royal family? Uh, what's going on? What's going on with within the whole royal family? Secrets. Secrets that the, that spirit wants to tell us about the royal family. Secrets that spirit wants to tell us about the royal family. Cards are ready. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll start happy hour with tarot reading. We'll all meet up at the same time and have our, li our little tipple. Page of coins. Upright. Oh, is that Harry already showing up? Six of coins. Oh, they're really trying to balance things out. They're trying to get really back into their charity work. Queen of Cups. It's uh, uh, This is Camilla. Absolutely about Camilla. Now, I did a reading at the coronation. That is a, oh, look at that. Yes, the clock agrees with me. This is Camilla. I did a reading at the coronation that it would be rocky until... Charles birthday which is November 14th and it was based on Camilla told Charles it's Harry or it's me but it's not both of us and right now and the card said that Charles would choose Camilla and it looks like the cards are re are saying that is Camilla look at that ten of wands in reverse the burden is lifted queen of wands upright now, is this the Wicked Witch of the West? No. I think this is um, Anne. I think this is Anne in a strengthening position with the burden is released. Now, I have said over and over, and I stand by this because my cards keep telling me Anne is going to retire or pull back a lot of her, um, her duties. Just a minute, i got to take a sip. And we have this Ten of Wands in reverse. Relief of, do, of burdens. Relief of burdens. Um, I think with this page of coins here, um, I think the, the royal family has come on very... Look at... I think they've come on very strong with how charitable they are and working with charity and not being distracted by all the circus that's going on around them. The moon in reverse. Yeah, you know what? They've come on gangbusters since Balmoral. Like, and there was that kind of family summit and whatnot that went on there. And they have come on positive, um, all their... Uh, charitable, the charities they support, the charities that they're patrons of, and they're coming out. This is the truth of the royal family. We are here to serve. Um, yes, we're royal, but we are here to serve. And the truth is, we give back a hell of a lot more than than what we take in regards to what we what we give back in tourism dollars, what we give back in being patrons and 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 doing all this. Uh, the truth is we're here to serve. We're here to step outside of the castle and come and serve the people. That's the truth. That's who we are. It feels like to me they're getting back to basics, getting right back to basics. Four of cups. And then <laughs> now I have said a couple of times that um, Camilla is not comfortable in the queen role, in the role of queen 
at all. She doesn't like it at all. And here, look at the four of cups on there. She just couldn't be bothered. Honestly, she couldn't. The pomp and circumstance just seriously does not fit her personality type. The Hierophant on, in reverse on top of the Ten of Wands. Are they trying to make the royal family more personable and more in touch with 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 the uh, people? You know, are they trying to make the royal family? Are they trying to? I I, I almost I kind of want to say knock themselves off their perch and say, you know what, we're just like you. We we enjoy sport. I mean, you look how many sports. Um, that William and Catherine have been going to. You know, we're just like you. We go to sports and, you know, we're just like you. We take our, our kids along and, you know, we're just like you. We enjoy gardening and we're just like you. We enjoy baking. And um, I think they're trying to make, there's some sense here with the Ten of Wands, the release of burdens and the Hierophant, the, um, they, it's like they, they're saying, I, I know you enjoy the pomp and circumstance, but at the end of the day, we're just normal people as well. And I think we saw that with the, um, um, coronation, uh, you know, it was greatly reduced from what, when, uh, Queen Elizabeth was with her coronation. Um, and I think that's part of it. I think that's part of it. Seven of coins in reverse. Now, Spirit is telling me there's like an, there's some kind of ending to this royal. Three of wands in reverse. Queen of coins in reverse. Or, or in reverse, upright. You know what? They still cannot shake Queen Elizabeth. They, I mean, how do you shake somebody for that's been for 70 years. Like, you know, you think about it everywhere you go. Um, you look at, look at the, look at even just dropping a letter in the mailbox. There's her insignia. Um, a lot of stamps still have her name. All our money, our money in Canada, all our coins, you turn it over. It's her. Um, and there almost get a feeling like there's really no big plans to end that. It's like, I don't, I don't want to feel, I don't want to say they're riding her coattails because they're not doing that. He, he's definitely making, King Charles is definitely making, trying to make his own way in all of this, but they see no reason to shut that down. They see no reason. They have no long-term plans to shut that down. Plus, since Camilla is not really excited about being queen, I wonder if they're pushing through Catherine to to uh, attract the younger crowd. So they're like, okay, you know what? Camilla has her her stains and her back history, and um, you know how do we connect her to the younger crowd? I think they would have had a much easier time connecting Diana to the younger crowd. Diana connected to the younger crowd right away. Um, Camilla not so much. And I'm, that doesn't, I'm not disgracing her or, or disparaging her or anything like that. That's just a fact. That's just the facts. Like my daughter's 36, which reminded me the other day, my daughter's the age that Diana died. And I just, it kind of takes my breath away when I think of it. But, you know, she has no connection to Camilla. She loved Diana when Diana was alive, but she has a big connection to Catherine. So I think in some respect, they are um, more concentrating on Catherine. I don't think they have any plans to make Charles and Camilla the big attraction. I think they're, they're looking towards the future, who the next one is. Who the next one is? What's underlying here? Oh, the world. <laughs> I should have looked at that before I rattled on. Um, yeah, there's going to be some endings with our current monarchy. With our current, uh, with the world here. That's closing doors. Um, that's like I'm feeling like a closing of the old guard. A closing of the old guard. 
and they're going to start selling more of the youth. This isn't Megan. I tell you that right now. This is not Megan. They're not selling Megan in any respect. But this is my my sales card, salesman card. Look at this shiny thing. Don't you want the shiny thing? Don't you love the shiny? The shiny thing is Catherine. The shiny new penny is Catherine. It's not Camilla and it's not Anne. But I see that Anne is supporting that. I see that Anne is supporting that. Um, yeah, the Empress. There's, there's Catherine with the three children. I think the Magician in reverse. Six of Swords. Upright, death, upright. I think they're looking at transforming the royalty into a more modern royalty, um, but yet maintaining some royalty, some dignity, some integrity, some um, traditions. I think we have, with the magician here in reverse, I think we have a lot of, I just realized, just a minute, I'll get back to that, I promise. I know I'm terrible for that. This world and this empress looks like the same person. So out with the old and in with the new. So out with Catherine being the princess of Wales into Catherine being the queen. Um, the magician here is... It, when it's in reverse, like this is my spin doctor. This is uh, stating things that are not true. Um, and just look at this moving on and transforming, transforming the monarchy. That's, that's what they're, I think that's what they're looking at. Getting rid of the old guard and uh, concentrating on their charity work, their charitable work, what they do for the UK. Um, I, I think, you know, releasing the burdens of trying to make uh, a connection with Camilla and the younger people. Like I said, my daughter is 36 and she has more connections with Catherine. Absolutely, 100% than, than Camilla. So if you want your monarchy to keep going on, you have to bring in the younger people. So I think we're going to see a lot of that, um, a lot more of Catherine and Will, William. I think we're going to see a lot more of that. Seven of Cups in reverse, Ten of Cups. Yeah, happy young families, happy young families. But the Seven of Cups here in reverse, um, I think, now listen, it, it, we all know it's a PR game. I think we're going to see a lot of um, gaslighting and um, I think it might t it t might tend to go over the top. And there's a real danger in that, that people then just start stop believing that there's no way a family can be that perfect. There's no way, you know, uh, the parents can be that perfect and work that hard. And um, so we have to be really careful. There's a really fine line before people stop believing that um, that this is the perfect family, that this is the best monarchy to, you know, this is the next in line and is going to be absolutely amazing and so hardworking. We have to be really careful of that because that's a that's a true danger here that people will start to, to kick back a little bit, right? I mean, e anybody... Even something really sweet and good after a while becomes sickly sweet and you just can't take one more bite, right? The first couple of bites are amazing and you're loving it. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, that's enough. Oh, that's so sweet. I can't take it anymore. Even though it's your favorite thing. I think that's what we're going to see here with the seven of cups. Uh, three of cups and the hermit. Well, Harry the Hermie. I think, oh, I took a, a piece of ice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think what we're going to see, we're going to see a lot more of the three whales children. And they're, I think they're really going to bring in the youth. I think we're going to see a lot of um, 
them more in, uh, you know, and how they're enjoying the royal life and, and, and the different things that they do. And you know what? See, they're just the same as you. They have to do their math problems at night. And see, they're just the same as you. They have to, they've got friends and go to birthday parties. And I think we're going to see a lot of that, a lot, because with, with this new beginning here, I honestly think we're going we're going to see a lot more of the Wales family. The hermit here. Ooh, the lovers in reverse. Yeah, you know, Harry is still Harry and his marriage are still a big issue. Nine of Wands in reverse. Knight of Coins upright, King of Cups. This is uh definitely a, a between Charles and Harry is still an ongoing battle. There's no clear winners. Harry and his, and, and that one of his wife. Because um, here's Harry right here, Knight of Coins. Uh, look at that. He's He doesn't have access to the money. Here's King of Cups. This is Charles in reverse as a dad. Um, there's no resolution there whatsoever. Um, yeah, Harry keeps coming for access for the money and... Charles is shutting him down, and that, that's continuing on and on. Uh, two of coins in reverse. So there's no more negotiations. Deal is done. Um, it's like there's no more negotiation. Two of coins upright is negotiating, buying and selling and merching. And, but in reverse, there's no negotiations. Deal is done. It's either like no deal or we've signed and sealed and it's done. Cheers, Blue Monday. Ace of Wands upright, Ten of Swords, Ruin. Ace of Cups in reverse, Four of Swords upright, the High Priestess. One of them is sick. One of them is very sick, actually. Um, they're trying to keep it a secret. I think we're not, it's going to, look at this. So Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups, Tears and Tears, and Four of Swords. I think we are going to see the High Priestess. I think we're I, one of them is actually very sick. One of the British royal family is, is actually really sick, and they're keeping it secret. Strength. The star, three of swords in reverse, eight of swords in reverse, six of cups in reverse. It's a brother or a sister. Can't be Anne, can it? So have I been reading her retirement is actually... I don't even want to say it out loud. You know, she has lost a lot of weight. Everyone looks at Edward, how much weight he's lost. And I just, I just, I even have mentioned it to a few people that how much weight that Anne has lost. And I just chalked it up to the loss of her mother and how hard she worked around the funeral of her mother and how hard she worked around the coronation. Um, hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Release of, here we got some releases here. And uh, somebody is a, a star of this. Are they keeping it secret? Is that why she wants to retire? There is going to be, I've been calling it, other psychics have been calling it, other tarot card readers have been calling it. There's definitely a death coming up. There's definitely a death coming up. Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Cups in reverse, surprising bad news. Two of Wands, the Chariot, the Hanged Man. Uh, William really wants, he's biting, he he's really wants to get at it, but he's really, really stuck. Um, he really, really wants to get at it. 
he really wants to take control, but he he obviously can't. Um, you know, in some respects, I could see I, I I see what he's saying. Like the card, like the spirit keeps telling me that William and Catherine are the future, and they are capturing the hearts of young and old alike. Even elderly people love William and Catherine. Um, there is, I, I'm not making a judgment, I'm just stating facts, there is a disconnect with Camilla with a lot of the population because of the past history. Um, and I think the, I mean, you'd have to be really tone deaf within the royal family not to realize that. And I think I can, I can see where Spirit's telling me, William, because he's a chariot, as the hanged man, he's feeling like he is waiting in the wings. But guess what, William? Your dad waited for 50 years. He was 21 when he was invested, when he had his investiture as the Prince of Wales. And uh, he was well, in, he was in his 70s when he finally became king. So he was waiting over 50 years. So I know you're anxious. You're, you're chomping at the bit here to get at it. But you have to do due process. There's due process here. I can see he's already making plans here, the two of wands. Oh, spirit, spirit. Okay, let's ask, a, let's uh, get one more question here from spirit. I'm going to muffle this, cover your ears. Uh, that was fair enough that I warn people when I'm going to ring the bell because it can be loud when you are on AirPods. Cheers to my blue Monday. Isn't that a fabulous blue, royal blue? I thought, yeah, I got to do a royal blue. Ooh, what popped out here? Four of swords. I'm telling you, there is, this is my deathbed card. This is also the four of spades. And the four of spades in, uh, when you're reading just regular playing cards, is the, the sick bed or the deathbed. It's in reverse, you, you uh, recover. The Empress. Yeah, Catherine's going to play a big, big part. A big part. Okay, cards, can you give us a little bit more clue? Let's ask the card. Let's ask Spirit and let's ask, ask the cards. Um, who are you speaking of when you speak of this death? Who can you give us clues? Ooh, should I ask that question? Do you want me to? I'll, I'll lay five cards down and see what the card, what, what, if it gives us any direct clues. If it doesn't, then I'll, I'll go on to the next question. I don't know. Do you want to know? I don't know if I want to know. Uh, Spirit, who are you speaking of when, I, when you, when you t tell us that there is going to be a death in the royal family soon? Who are you speaking of? Oh, look at it. See how jumpy that was? Six of Swords in reverse. It'll be somebody who's off to peace. Six of Coins, two sixes. Ace of Wands in reverse. Five of Cups upright. No. I'm still here. You know who my king of swords is? I can barely talk. Now. Oh my God. Okay. Sorry. Wow. That shook me up. Um, who else could be a king of swords? Let's let's not get let's let's not get too upset here. Who else could be a king of swords? An air sign. Um, who else is an air sign? A Libra, a Gemini, uh um Aquarius. Um, Fergie's a Libra. 
she's sick. Doesn't I don't it doesn't have to be William. Uh, um, Andrew is an air sign. He's an Aquarius. Sophie is an air sign. She's an Aquarius. Um, I can't even think. I'm kind of in shock. Okay, let's ask the cards. We'll and let's ask spirit, spirit, spirit. I actually, I have to clear that. I am, I am actually kind of in shock, and I have to cover up my my drinky drink. Um, I can't believe it actually answered it for us. Um, thank you, spirit. Thank you. I'm not blaming you. <laughs> I asked for it. I got it. Um, will there be any big, uh, now I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm sorry. I, you, you're probably ready to disconnect, but I'm, I'm struggling here now. I didn't expect that at all. I'm going to have to look and see, are there like any of the elderly cousins who are an air sign? Uh, oh, you know what? The one um, Gloucester, Glouc Gloucester, Duke of Gloucester. He just had a birthday. Uh, so he is also a Libra and he just turned 88. Oh. Oh, thank God I thought of that. Not that I wish him any death. I don't wish anybody any death. I just want to shake that it's not William. It's, I just want to shake that it's not William. Uh, he just turned 88. He's a Libra. Glouc and he's Queen Elizabeth's cousin. Gloucester? Gloucester? <laughs> you Brits are probably laughing like hell at me. It's just like saying worst Chester. <laughs> Gloucester. Gloucester, Gloucester, <laughs> you know who I mean. He just had his 88th birthday. <laughs> what else, Spirit? What else do you want? What's the most important thing we need to know about the royal family? What's the most important thing you want to tell us about the royal family? Sorry about that little lull in there. Um, for those of you who hung in there, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for dealing with my shock with me. But no, I don't wish anybody any death. I just feel better that it's not William. I was just in shock that the cards actually gave me a uh, court card. Okay, what else? What's the most important thing we have to know about the royal family between now and the end of the year? What's the most important thing that we need to know about the British royal family between now and the end of the year? Not just necessarily gossip. What's the most important thing, spirit, please? Here we go. Oh, look at that interesting cut. Okay. Ten of coins. So, yes. Uh-oh. I just... Something happened here. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Oh, now I got newbies and now. <laughs> Honestly, wonder you can see it's 60 percent. I don't know what happened there. I hope that recorded. Wow, what weird, weird energies. Dogs barking. Um okay. So we have I asked the cards what's the most important. Oh my God. There is going to be some kind of disruption in this, in this family. The tower in reverse, four of wands in reverse. There's going to be a big funeral. The hanged man upright and the queen of coins in reverse. There's definitely going to be uh, some kind of big funeral. Um, with somebody related directly to print to uh, 
Ooh, I just about said Princess Elizabeth. So I wonder if it is that Duke, because he, he would have grown up with her as Princess Elizabeth. We've got a funeral before the end of the year. Five of coins in reverse. The Empress in reverse. Three of swords in reverse. A direct relationship to Queen Elizabeth. King of coins. Two of swords in reverse. The moon in reverse. Somebody's going to release some some kind of truth. And then you saw when I was jiggling it, I sure hope the uh, algorithm doesn't pick up on cartoon boobies. Treats us like children. Anyways, <laughs> that's beside the point. Okay, so we definitely have a funeral before the end of the year. It's somebody within the extended royal family, somebody directly related to Queen Elizabeth. So it's not like any, um, for example, it's not Megan or Catherine or Jack Brookbank or Fergie or um, Camilla, for example. It's somebody directly DNA related to Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth. So that could be her cousins, it could be her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren, like God forbid, right? Um, I think it's somebody who's quite a bit elderly here with the King of Coins. Um, you know what? And I think it's somebody who's ready to go on and there the clock agrees with me. And there the clock agrees with me. Somebody who hasn't had it very easy um, somebody who hasn't had it very, very easy. Queen of Wands. It might affect, um, the Princess Royal. Ace of Swords. Um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Four of Coins in reverse. It could be somebody who has been, um, struggling with health issues. And maybe they have, like, surgery and the surgery doesn't go that great. Um, four of coins in reverse. Page of swords, upright. Three of wands in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Page of cups, upright. Ten of cups. Okay, I think it's somebody who... Um, I think it's an... It, it'll be... I, I'm not going to say it's a shocking death because we have the tower in reverse. I think what's going to be shocking is um, how they passed away. I think there's some kind of health issue that they want and they end up going for surgery and something happens in the surgery or something happens like shortly after the surgery or it's because of the surgery. It's because of the surgery. Um, and it disrupts their whole family. So they their family right now is intact. So it's wife, husband, children. They're all intact. None of them have left. Um, and uh, uh, something happens that it disrupts their family. So I guess that could, that excludes, like, for example, Andrew and Sarah. Their family is not intact right now. Uh, the star in reverse. So there's no hope. There's no healing. Eight of wands. No temperance no there's no medicine or anything they can do judgment no you know what six of cups in reverse no you know what it's just their time to go and that's just life there's a couple of times through um uh through mystical and occult so there's well we all know 27 club 27 there's 27 36 45 52 and then it jumps all the way to 92 um those are times in our lives that we have doors to leave. And if you think of all the people who left around age 52, um, they're just as significant as Club 27. Like for example, I just did the writing for Princess Grace, she was 52. 
And if you start to think about some of the people who left at age 52, 36 is a year, um, you'll see there's a lot of, of suicides around age 36. And I, in fact, know two uh, age 36 that, that committed suicide. Those are natural times in our life with our contract that we then can agree or that we agree that, yes, it's it's time to go. Um, and I, and, and just stop and think about how many people, you know, who have died around those ages. Like I said, the most famous is 27, 27, 36, 45, 52, and then it jumps all the way to 92. <laughs> I guess people realize that, uh, or maybe they think, well, I've made it this far. I might as well see how far I can go. Um, but we have definitely have a funeral happening here. Um, uh, before the end of the year, because I asked the cards by the end of the year. Uh, so it's somebody directly with DNA connections to uh, Queen Elizabeth. Um, it's some kind of illness that they have, or it could even be elective surgery. I don't know, maybe they want a facelift or something, a tummy tuck or whatever. Could be an elective, but anyways, it's some kind of surgery. So either they die from the surgery or or complications from surgery. There's no hope in their healing. Or maybe they have surgery and they open them up and they go, yeah, you're loaded with cancer. There's not much more we can do. But there's something to do with surgery here with the Ace of Swords in reverse. All right. Wow. Oh. Let's just all hope it's, it's, it's uh, peaceful and quick and without suffering. That's all you can hope for somebody. Uh, it might be, it might. And again, it's somebody who has their family intact. And, um, hmm. I can't decide if this is, if, is, if this is because they have a brother and sister or maybe they have a, um, genetic disease that's not passed down or they have the genetic disease but um it's not passed down to their children i spirit's telling me to look at the next one. Oh, the hair fan so they're in the royal family their royal family the chariot um could be cancerian But we saw the King of Swords, so, oh, God, I just did it. <laughs> King of Swords, I call William the King of Swords because he is on the cusp of Gemini and Cancer. It's not him. It's not him. It's not him. Now I have to look. Seven of Coins, Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Page of Coins. Uh, yeah, we, we actually don't know who it is. We actually don't know who it is. This could be their Cancerian moon, um, or something like that. I don't know. It's not William. I'm not getting those vibes at all. Cause I get the sun card, right? Cause that's the one, the Prince of Wales with the, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm, and he's too young to have any kind of surgery or, or any kind of chronic illness or anything like that. Right. Right. <laughs> That's what we're telling ourselves. He's fine. He's fine. All right. Well, I promise you, I am not going to make these. <laughs> we are not going to have tarot happy hour, unless you want to, of course. <laughs> and then we'll all meet at the same time. I can't do lives. My anxiety won't allow it. Um, but I can do premieres where we all meet at the same time. We pour our favorite beverage and we read tarot cards and chat. Let me know if you want to do that. I'd be up for that. Um, I don't know if my husband would be that happy about me having a drink every day, but <laughs> ah, life's too short. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope I didn't scare you. I hope I didn't upset you. Um, spirits can sometimes be really honest, and especially when you don't want them to be that honest. Thanks so much. Take good care. Bye for now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>